everybody, it's me, Sweet Ophelia. And I'm Monkey Man. And tonight we saw Choke, which is based on a novel by Chucky e. P. Um, and it's essentially the story of a guy... Uh, the dude who wrote Fight Club, in case nobody really knows that name. Um, <laughs> it's a movie about a guy who uh, is a sex, ad sex addict who makes money, well, choking on things. Um, Food, not the other thing, if that's what you're wondering. Um, so, what'd you think of the movie, Monkey Man? You know, I gotta admit, I was really pumped up for this movie. The trailer was really good. It was, it was, you know, it was put together well. I was really, really excited for this film. And that's probably why I didn't like it that much. It was, you know, here's the thing. You know, it was one of those movies that, like, you know, had really great acting performances, but it just really wasn't put together that well. Like, Sam Rockwell, I love Sam Rockwell. He was really great in Assassination of Jesse James, uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, that one that was directed by George Clooney where he played uh, Chuck Berry. Sam Rockwell is a really great actor. He's really underrated, and he's, he's, you know, he's one of those guys where you might not know him by name, but you know him if you saw him. Maybe one of those guys. And he was really, he was really, really great in this movie. He, he's, this is another movie in which, you know, there's, he's kind of the asshole character. As uh, Sweet Affiliate mentioned, he's a sex addict. Uh, and, you know, so if you're a sex addict at home, there's a lot of things that can really touch home. So it was really, really well acted, but just, Angelica Houston also does really well. But it was just sort of kind of put together sloppily, and, I, and, you know, it just didn't really, it just didn't really work as a whole for me. There was a lot of times where I was looking at my watch and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with the basic um, point Jesus. of what you're trying to say, which is um, this is another case where it's a really great book, um, and it just didn't trans well, translate well to film. Um, all of the components were there. The acting was good. Um, obviously, the story is fairly good. Um, but it just really it didn't translate well, and I felt bored at times um, while watching the film. Not to say that it's a bad film at all. Um, it's definitely got its high points um, and its shock value um, in some scenes because, you know, if he is a sex addict. Um, so that's a plus. Um, and the acting is, once again, Angelica Houston does a great job, as always. Sam Rockwell does a really great job. Everyone who is in it does a, a pretty decent job. But it, it just couldn't deliver. I just really think it, it definitely lacked the punch. Well, it's interesting because we saw this movie uh, right after My Best Friend's Girl, so I was wanted to ask you, how do you feel about, you know, both of them are pretty much centered around two guys who are assholes. Mm -hmm. So what, what is your feeling on pretty much assholes in movies in general? Um, I don't know. I get, that's a really interesting question. I think that, I mean, you know. Well, I'm an interesting guy, despite the fact that I'm holding a chicken. Well, I think the chicken makes you more interesting. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Really? Is it, what, what do you think it makes me look more masculine? Do you think I should hold it a certain way? You know, maybe like, you know, sort of clutch it like this, you know, and then, you know, with the hat, you know. You I know. think you should get a What's big, up? fat, gold necklace and hang the chicken from it, since you've got the whole black Run DMC thing going on right now with the hat. I think that'd be awesome. Word. 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 Um, so yeah, I think that the treatment of assholes, well, I don't really want to talk too much about my uh, best friend's girl, but I will say that um, in this film, you do feel sympathetic toward him because he really can't help what he's doing. Um, this movie does have that trap of explaining a character's motives. Um, but in this film, it doesn't see, it's not really annoying. It's more so you want to know how this character got that way and what affected him and made him the person that he is. Um, because essentially that's what he's trying to do the entire film is find out where he came from and who he is. Um, that, that's deep. Like seriously, like seriously, that is really deep. That, that answers my question. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah, so it's, I think it's, it's different from My Best Friend's Girl um, in the sense that, <clears throat> number one, Choke is, not, Choke is a dark comedy and My Best Friend's Girl is more of just a romantic comedy, but also because, you know, in that My Best Friend's Girl, Dane Cook, well, that's, I mean, that's, yeah. you know, that, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, hey, read he that review. To be an read that review, you know, if you have my best friend's girl, already posted on Sweet Monkey uh, Studios, pictures.com. There you go. Um, so, I'm saying rent it if you have to see it, but you really don't, honestly, you really don't need to see it. Well, once again, we agree, rent it, you know, I mean, it's, it is, it is a nice movie, but you know, it, it's in limited release anyway. So, you know, so so definitely don't make the effort to go out and see it. Right. I definitely wouldn't drive to your local art house theater or if you're lucky enough to have a theater with 
a bunch of uh, houses who are willing to show independent films, I definitely would not make any special trips to go see it. Rent it. So Rent is, there, it. is there anything else you want to say to our viewers before we exit out? I want you to go to sweetophiliawatches.com and read my movie reviews or go to moviefilmreview.com and read them there as well. Well, dosh gone it, I think you should listen to this poor lady. Poor? Oh, I meant uh, sweet lady because you're uh, sweet of you. That's right. right. Um, I think that uh, Mr. Monkey Man with your chicken. Oh, um, uh, 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 Mr. Cluckers. I'm sorry, Mr. Cluckers. I put the S on it that time. Uh, so did I. Anyway, so uh, definitely check out our my movie reviews and come back to our webpage, Sweet Monkey. Sweet monkey. What's up with you and this chicken? Um, all right. It's my prop. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry about the rampant gum chewing. Quit I, smoking. I'm sorry for not a damn thing. All right, then. Uh, thanks for checking us out, guys, and we will see you again next time.